Social media is ruining drummers, and I'm gonna tell you why. Hi, I'm Layton, and obviously I'm a drummer. I've played in bands, I've played gigs, I've written my own drum parts, okay? I've been around the block. I'm kind of a big deal. But I'm in no denial here. I got my start, and still am, an internet drummer. Go check out that Instagram. <laughs> but having both experience as a gigging professional drummer and being just like an online person that just posts videos, I've noticed some differences that might cause problems in the future. <laughs> First and foremost, the dreaded drummer acting. Oh, you've seen them before. If, you, if you're if you a drummer online, you've definitely seen these people before. I'm talking about the girlies who are like half naked, like that intense, like, oh yeah, you see me playing the drums? Yeah, you think this is hot, don't you? Like unwavering eye contact that they're obviously trying to flirt with you. And then you have the ones that are just noodle arms. You know, throwing stuff and like showing off their chops. And look, I get it, okay? I know that being on the internet, you have to have something that sets you apart from the rest and you have to have your own unique style. And this is less about the flirty girlies and more about the people who just have terrible technique. <laughs> Cause like I said, I get it. It's energetic and it's fun to watch. Maybe not for me, I think it's kind of annoying, but personal preference. <laughs> Having a technique like that is so damaging. There is proper technique for a reason, yeah? And while it may not hurt you now, constantly flailing your arms like that and just playing over the top is so damaging to your muscles. Think about constantly doing this for years and years and years. You're gonna cause severe damage and you know, you're at risk for never drumming again. I was born with glass bones and paper skin. Now, I don't think drumming acting is inherently bad. The idea of you being, you know, stylistic and having a fun and wild approach, but please do it carefully. <laughs> please do it in a way that's not going to damage your muscles. <laughs> but in the same vein of overplaying and showing off those chops, it gives the wrong idea of what a drummer is. Okay, I love the drums, but I'm gonna be honest. We're just, we're just back up, right? If you're not a drummer, you're probably not looking at the drummer unless it's Josh Dunn from 21 Pilots. Point is, we're just kind of like the backbone, right? We give support to the lead singer and every other musician. We're not necessarily the spotlight, right? So constantly playing those fills, showing off your chops, overplaying the song, is never gonna get you a gig because they don't look for those types of drummers. Music industry, they look for drummers who are just support and make the song better and not bring all the attention on them. Because it's this constant conflict because I get it. You want to show off your skills and you want to make a fun video and you want to show everyone that you got talent. I think that's great. But young impressionable drummers out there don't think that that's what drummers do all the time. Because I'm gonna be honest, it's not a bunch of impressive chops, it's kind of boring in comparison to that, but you know. In an attempt to be flashy and stand out from the crowd, which I don't think is a bad thing, we're kind of pushing this narrative that that's what drummers do. In reality, it's not. Not to mention what I said about damaging yourself. Have proper technique, y'all. It's worth it, I promise. Now, if you go check out my drum covers, which you probably you should. You'll see that I'm very chill. I'm a very natural chill person just by nature, but also on the drum kit. Of course, more high energy songs. I may be like jumping and bouncing and head banging, but most of the time I'm... I'm cool as a cucumber, y'all. So if you are a young, impressionable drummer out there, please know that while these videos are fun and maybe fun for you to watch, the role of a drummer in the music industry is very, very different. And please, if you are self-taught, don't, don't listen to them, they lie to you. Please research proper technique and how to properly play without hurting yourself in the long run. Now, I don't like being a negative Nancy, okay? And I know I just like, hated on social media drummers even though I am one which is kind of like weird. But I'm gonna end this video on a positive note. 
I don't think social media is ruining drummers entirely. Yeah, sure, it's kind of ruining the image of what we think drummers do. Maybe promoting harmful technique that may damage you forever in the long run. But I also think that it's a great place to find other musicians. Well, I found the band that I'm in now because I posted about it on the internet. It's a great place to find the community, find other drummers, learn from each other, not the bad stuff. And I kind of use it like a resume. If someone comes to me and they're like, oh, you play the drums, I want to see some, some proof. I have a whole Instagram page for it. The social media is kind of a give and take, obviously, but for drummers also. Just focus on the good, ignore the bad. And please, for the love of God, do not stare into the camera when you film your drum. If you like this video and you want to see me rant about something else, uh, please let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.